Christ. So first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Harakak Wadash. Yahweh be in the name of the Heavenly Father. Yah meaning He, Hawa meaning He is or exists. Bahashim Ba is in, Ha is Da. Shem is name. Yahweh Shai, that's who the world ignorantly calls Jesus the Christ. Even though the letter J wasn't invented until the 16th century. Yah meaning he, Hawa Shai meaning delivered. Baha Shem in the name, Haraka Kodash, Ha is Daraka, Spirit Kodash is holy. My name is Abaya, and the Most High has placed his spirit of holiness and spirit of righteousness in his men to be able to go out into the highways and hedges and bid who he will to the marriage and also warn the people. Warn the people of the times that they're living in and warn the people of the dangers to come. And also warn the people that if you don't get your mind right, which is your, which is where your spirit is, if you don't get your spirit right, you're gonna get caught up in the destruction that's coming to this place. All right? This place getting worse and worse every day. We keep hearing different news on, on warnings, but no one is taking heed because you don't know to take heed. You don't know what to look for. So this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, and verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. All right? The Most High sent his, his, his spirit out and his people to come out and warn the people. All right? That warning is time up. You living in the end. If you don't have eyes to see or ears to hear, it seems like everything is just everything, and it's not. I know you keep waiting on things to get back to normal, but it won't. This kingdom is over with. It's just that a kingdom. In times past, kingdoms rose and kingdoms fell. This is no different. So, understand this is not your place of rest, so-called black man so-called Hispanic man, so-called Native American man, and all our brethren around the world, all of so-called Negro descent, this ain't your world. You literally being held hostage. Everything that's the truth about you has been taken away, and you've been given a pseudo-identity of self. And that identity of self breeds destruction. That's why they call you what they call you, black. Everything dark, vile, evil, void of light, void of understanding. Hispanic, here's Spaniard, a slave, Indian, a savage. That's why they put those titles on you. All right? The question is, why don't you take them titles off of yourself? Knowing good and well that these individuals have lied about your history. Why, in February, the only history you, you, you know about or hear about is the civil rights. Right? There's a reason behind all of these things. And I'm out here to tell you that darkness, that cloud of darkness that we've been under since we've been here is being lifted. And it's being lifted for a reason. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, and verse 1. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley and lo, they were very dry. The reason why these bones were dry is because they didn't have living water. That living water is the truth of the word truth of the word has been taken away from us because it shows you who your real power is. It shows you that your power ain't got nothing to do with a dollar. It ain't got nothing to do with status. It has nothing to do with a weapon. It has nothing to do with who you are linked up with. But it has everything to do with who you are. And the creator of all things choosing you above everybody else. And I know that ruffles feathers. But it is what it is. It's the book of Second Edges in the Apocrypha, chapter five, and verse twenty-three. 
and said, O Lord, that bearest rule of every wood of the earth, and of all the trees thereof, thou hast chosen thee one only vine, and of all lands of the whole world, thou hast chosen thee one pig, and of all the flowers thereof, one lily, and of all the depths of the sea, thou hast filled thee one river, and of all builded cities, thou hast hallowed Zion unto thyself. And of all the fowls that are created, thou hast named thee one dove. And of all the cattle that are made, thou hast provided thee one sheep. And among all the multitudes of peoples, thou hast gotten thee one people. And unto this people, whom thou lovest, thou gavest a law that is approved of all. And that's the truth of the matter. The truth of the matter is the Most High chose you. And it also explains why we go through what we go through different than any other nation on the earth. It's because it's personal with us. We are the most High's children. That's what Israel means. Son of power, son of God, children of God. That's what we are. But for whatever reason, we refuse to do what a child of God is supposed to do. Child of God is supposed to follow the word and not the world. Right? A child of God is supposed to follow, thus says Yahweh, and not thus says the state, or thus says the president. Right? We are a special people. Holy unto the Lord. The one and is get right or get left behind get right or get destroyed. What you think all of these things are happening around the world for? You think that's just coincidence? You think the threat of World War III has been looming for the past three years, three to four years, on some by chance? Really, for the past five, six years? You think the currency globally has been crashing on some by chance? Some just so happenings? You think that the different diseases that have been released on the earth is on some just so happens? You think the division that is created worldwide is just so happenings? No, it's not. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 24. from the top. And Yahweh Shai went out and departed from the temple and his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? So Yahweh Shai said, Y'all look around, and all of these different buildings that you break your neck to get into, all these different establishments that you spent thousands of dollars to apply to go work for, there won't be one stone left. Scripture says the daughter of Babylon will be turned into a desert when Yahweh gets done with you. And the, the disciples came and said, right, when will these things be? When is all this going to happen? And Yahweh said, and Yahweh said, answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Christianity, these different pastors that run these different churches, they have to go to seminary school in order to get behind the pulpit to tell you what that seminary school tells you to tell the people. I bring this point out all the time. That Christianity 